What's up everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's detail we have a really special car this is a 1969 Cougar and it's in 484 interior and exterior detail and as you guys can see I'm not in my regular garage so I'm stepping out of my boundaries just for you guys on today's video so it's gonna be a little different but bear with me and I will try to get as always the best shots for you guys and get an amazing transformation of this car as you guys already saw from those clips it's in a really bad condition, so we're gonna try to get it into the best condition we can. And before doing that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any future videos like this. And now, let's get detailing. Okay, now for the first step, I'm going to wash the tires and the wheels, and I don't know if you guys could really see it here, but there was some paint on the wheels, so I just wanted to wash it first so I can really tell how much of the paint was still on these wheels. So now having all the wheels clean, I could really see now how much paint was still remaining. So I went ahead and used an adhesive remover and let it sit there for a few seconds and then use the pressure washer to remove the remaining paint. And after washing the entire vehicle, I can't forget to get my detailing brush and go all around the grills, headlights, and the emblems, and of course my favorite part, the tail lights of this vehicle. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty now this is the part where I tell you guys why this car did not have the hood or why they couldn't take it to my garage and that's because they actually swapped the engine of this vehicle and I believe it's a 351 Windsor with stroker and if you guys know more about this engine please let me know in the description down below and the reason why they couldn't take it to my garage is because let's just say it's not street legal to take it out on the roads and because it's making some pretty solid numbers as I went for a little ride and I just couldn't believe how fast this car was. Alrighty, now moving into the interior and I think this is a first where I only took parts out of the vehicle instead of just the regular things that we see in a regular detail. And that's because like I mentioned before, they swapped the engine and also a few parts as you guys can see. And right before starting with the vacuuming, I went ahead and cleaned all those nasty door jams. And now starting with the vacuuming and one thing that I can say is that I really really love the carpets on old cars because as you guys can see it's just really easy to vacuum even though I just gave it a few more passes because like I said it had not been clean in a lot of years so I just made sure to have them all clean and ready to be extracted. And now when I was removing the back seats, I found all these underneath and it seems like they had little creature living under there for a little while, but luckily I didn't find anything but leftovers. And now here you can tell just how long they had it sitting just there as just by vacuum and it was changing color as I was taking all that layer of dust. But these seats were really faded and you can really tell on the ones on the front as you can literally see the lines where it has shade and where it did not have any type of shade.
and now using my best friends to clean the interior detail which is my all-purpose cleaner a detailing brush and of course a microfiber towel to clean everything up and get all the residue left behind from the apc And don't forget to smash the like button if you guys are enjoying this video so far. Alright, and I know how much you guys enjoy this with real time and sound, so I hope you all enjoy. And just for those of you wondering, the solution I'm using here is Lining Fast from Chemical Guys and I have it diluted 20 to 1.
All right, and now having all the interior clean, it's now time to protect it with my favorite UV protectant, which is the 303 Aerospace. And it doesn't only prevent everything from fading, but also just brings back everything to looking brand new again. Alrighty, now moving back into the exterior, the owner did not want any extra protection and that's because he's still not sure if he's going to repaint it or just leave it as it is. So I just used a ceramic spray wax to maintain the exterior protected for a little while. Alrighty, now to revive these tires and bring the shine back, I'm using Rebel Rubber, which is a water-based tire dressing and you won't have that greasy look. Alright and now for the last step I use invisible glass to clean this nasty and filthy windshield and all the windows on the car. Alrighty now this video has finally come to an end and if you guys enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.